In the late 1960s, amidst the dense jungles of Vietnam, Staff Sergeant Jerry Mad Dog Shriver became a legend. He was a part of an elite American Special Forces unit, known for his extraordinary bravery in unconventional tactics. The battle that solidified his place in history was nothing short of legendary. One of the most memorable episodes occurred when Shriver and his team were pinned down by a large force of North Vietnamese troops. Despite being outnumbered and facing the high ground held by the enemy, Shriver and his loyal indigenous allies refused to retreat. Known for his relentless courage and unconventional arsenal including several pistols, revolvers, and a sawed-off shotgun Shriver fought with unparalleled determination. As the enemy pressed on, American forces were slowly extracted by helicopter. Shriver, however, remained behind, refusing to abandon his position. Even when offered assistance, he rejected it with the defiant line, No, no, I've got them right where I want them. Surrounded. Born on September 24, 1941, in Defuniac Springs, Florida, Jerry Shriver grew up inspired by tales of World War II veterans. This inspiration drove him to enlist and become a distinguished soldier, eventually joining the Army's 101st Airborne Division and later the Special Forces. His skills were honed in the most rigorous training, preparing him for the unique challenges of the Vietnam War. In 1966, Shriver arrived in Vietnam as part of the Military Assistance Command, Vietnam Studies and Observations Group MACVSOG. This elite unit carried out some of the most dangerous and secretive missions of the war. Shriver's reputation grew with each mission, earning him the nickname Mad Dog for his fearless approach and exceptional combat skills. Shriver was not only a master of conventional weapons but also carried an unconventional array of armament, including various pistols and a powerful Marlin lever-action rifle he intended to use for demolition purposes. His eccentricity and dedication to combat made him a formidable presence in the field. Despite his solitary nature, Shriver was deeply committed to his men and their families, often spending his own money to support them. He formed close bonds with the indigenous Montagnard tribesmen, who were fiercely loyal to him. His bond with his German shepherd, Klaus, was also well known he even threatened fellow soldiers for mistreating his beloved pet. In April 1969, during a high-stakes raid on an enemy airfield, Shriver's unit was ambushed. As his platoon was pinned down by enemy machine guns, Shriver led a daring counterattack, charging through enemy fire to flank their positions. His bravery inspired his men, but tragically, he was never seen again. Despite extensive search efforts, Shriver was officially listed as missing in action, just weeks before completing his third tour. The legend of Mad Dog Shriver endures as a symbol of unparalleled bravery and dedication. His story remains a testament to the spirit of the American soldier, embodying courage, resilience, and an unyielding commitment to his comrades and cause. Why were American soldiers in the Vietnam War so young? The average age was 19 The Vietnam War is often remembered for the extraordinary bravery of its soldiers, many of whom were astonishingly young. The average age of American soldiers in the Vietnam War was just 19 years old.